Hi, we're going to fix until broken. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing a hard drive. And as you can see, this is ordered from Newegg. Uh, this is a three terabyte hard drive. It's refurbished. Um, and I just got the box today. I have a couple of these already. So we're going to be adding this to an existing BTRFS RAID 1. Uh, and it's going to be in a three drive configuration. So as you can see, uh, the package comes fairly well packaged. It has this uh, neat little air-filled pocket, um, as I can use my feet to open. Uh, it makes a neat little uh, foot warmer, too. And uh, I have a couple of these, so <laughs> it's kind of fun to play with. Um, anyways. So hard drive is, you know, of course, got this nice metallic plastic cover. And this is a three and a half inch drive, uh, so it's bigger. Um, it's SATA. Um, it's it, like I said, it is refurbished, so it's pulled out. Uh, it's unknown condition at this point. Uh, should be fully working. Uh, most of these drives uh, on Newegg are very lightly used uh, in data center environments. Uh, and these drives especially, uh, the other two I had had about 17,000 hours on them, uh, which is just a couple years. Um, and most of them have just been sitting idle, spinning. Uh, so they, they don't really have much use. Uh, in a RAID configuration, these are perfect because they'll just be sitting there running. And if one of them fail, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, so here you can see the label, uh, October 2013 is the date on this. Um, it's a 3 terabyte drive, 7200 RPM, SATA, 6 gigabit. Um, not much else really to look at on there. So uh, here we are before the changes. Uh, you can see Big Data, which is the second volume there, has two drives in it. Uh, and those are about 3 terabytes. Uh, it's about 1.6 terabyte used. Um, so we're, we're not at capacity yet. Uh, we're getting there quickly, especially with more video that I've been doing. Uh, so you can see, um, you know, the allocated and unallocated. Since this is a RAID 1, each time you write one megabyte, uh, it basically writes two because there's two drives. It mirrors the data. Um, so that's what it looks like before. Uh, we're going to cut here in just a second, and you'll see um, after the drive's been installed. Obviously, plugging in a drive is fairly simple and straightforward. So uh, here we are after the drive, or after the drive install. Uh, the new drive is SDA. Uh, you can see it's the uh, 7K4000 model of the Hitachi. Um, these are very popular. Uh, you know, you can see here, there's the uh, power on hours. is uh, about 6,500, which is much less than the other two drives I had, uh, even though it's, you know, probably from the same data center. Um, so here's some of the other drives I have. Uh, this is uh, external <laughs> USB, so it's got some errors on it. Uh, but you can see the power on time for this one is about 14,000 hours. And all of those have been, you know, at this house. Basically, those are just external USB 3 drive. Um, so I'm going to run through some commands here just to show uh, what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding uh, this 3 terabyte drive to the existing um, RAID 1 BTRFS. Uh, so I'm, I controlled C out of that one just to make sure that we have... Uh, you know, the command, you can see all the options. Uh, I'm going to show the usage before, uh, then run the add command, and then show it after. Uh, the BTRFS is uh, immediate. Uh, when you add a device, it's available online. You don't have to unmount it or anything. So there we go. We just added it. Um, quick and easy. It didn't take any time at all. So you can see before, uh, we had 5.46 terabytes, and now we have 8.19. Um so, so far, the, you can see down at the bottom the unallocated, there's the full drive is unallocated because we have not balanced the file system. So, we'll be doing that next. Um, and that takes a long time. Uh, basically copies uh, most of the data onto the other drive. Uh, so, doing the same uh, BTRFS file show command here, we can see that the last item there, the SDA, uh, has 0% used or 0 bytes used. Uh, so running the balance command uh, will take a long, long time. So uh, probably, you know, 24 hours, maybe 48, uh, depending on how much uh, 
writing is done to it. Uh, again, this is live and it's online, so it's not like the data is not available. Um, it's, you know, easily read and written and uh, just modified like normal file system data. So um, that's going to run. Uh, here's an IO stat. It's showing the, the disk usage. Obviously, we're looking at A, B, and D drives. So you can see there's the D drive is getting read from and the A drive is getting written to. Uh, so BTRFS is smart enough to balance the existing data over those three drives now in a RAID 1 configuration. Um, and it makes, uh, as you can see right here, the uh, big data, which just shows as SDB, uh, is about 4.3 terabytes uh, total, uh, and available is just over one terabyte. So uh, as the data gets moved around, that'll uh, probably change just a little bit, but... Uh, for the time being, in a RAID 1 configuration, uh, you are losing half of the space, no matter how many drives you have. So three drives, three terabytes each, that's about four and a half terabytes um, available for use uh, after the redundancy. Um, so there it is. Um, you know, SIA has about four gigs on it now. Uh, and that'll run for the next, you know, who knows how long. Uh, but it's not really visible to the front end. It's just uh, disk I.O. will be a little bit slow as it does that rebuild. Um, so that's about it. <coughs> There's uh, really not much else to see. Um, it can also do a remove in, in a similar fashion. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing that right now today. Uh, probably in the, was a later video uh, I might end up doing that. But uh, you just never know. All right. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.